Driving with a bad PCV, positive crankcase ventilation valve, is like playing a game of mechanical Russian roulette. You might get lucky and cruise along without immediate issues, or you could end up with serious engine damage down the road. What is a PCV valve? The PCV valve is a small but crucial component in your vehicle's engine. It helps control the buildup of harmful gases inside the engine. If the PCV valve fails, those gases can build up and create excessive pressure, leading to oil leaks, gasket failures, or even sludge buildup within the engine. Signs of a bad PCV valve 1. Rough idling or stalling. 2. Increased oil consumption. 3. Oil leaks. 4. Check engine light, CL, may be on. 5. Whistling or hissing noises. How long can you drive? There's no universal answer to how long you can drive with a bad PCV valve because it largely depends on the specific condition of your engine and how severely the valve is malfunctioning. Some people manage to drive for months without noticeable problems, while others might see their engine's condition degrade rapidly. Potential Risks Ignoring a faulty PCV valve can lead to several problems. 1. Asterisk engine oil leaks. Excessive pressure can force oil out through seals and gaskets. 2. Asterisk sludge buildup. Gases that don't get properly ventilated can form sludge in your engine, drastically reducing its lifespan. 3. Asterisk reduced fuel economy. The engine's efficiency takes a hit, and you find yourself filling up more often. 4. Asterisk complete engine failure. Worst case scenario, prolonged neglect could lead to severe engine damage requiring costly repairs. What should you do? If you suspect that your PCV valve is faulty, it's best to get it checked and replaced sooner rather than later. It's generally a quick and inexpensive fix, considering the potential risks of ignoring the problem. So if your mechanic advises you to replace the PCV valve, don't delay. It could save you a lot of money and headaches in the long run. If you do need to drive for a while before getting it fixed, try to keep the journeys short and avoid heavy loads or high speeds. I live in Portland, so I get it. Life can be busy, and sometimes we push our vehicles to the back of our minds. But trust me, this is one fix you shouldn't postpone too long.